All righty, guys. It is. Um, my game just tabbed out. It is <laughs> Wednesday, the 18th of, uh, of November, not October. It's still November. The 18th of it. We're here going to be tackling Coaster World by Virios. He's a serial. Virios 96 or whatever the number was. I don't even know what this is going to look like. Kind of maybe a, a multi style, considering I saw dirt transition into like a normal track piece. Oh, we're using <gasps> this. This. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, yes, it does. It includes the turbo. It, it in turn. It uses the coaster pieces from Trek Mini Turbo. This is going to be an interesting track. Because the turbo pieces from Track Mania Turbo are, uh... Or the turbo pieces. The, uh, coaster pieces from Track Mania Turbo are... They, they have very specific lines, and also they're usually not for... The... Track type that we are currently dealing in. Also, that's a speed check that I did not make. Can I go straight here? I didn't want to go straight because I thought I was going to get air, but I guess I don't. Make this smooth. Okay, that's not smooth. <laughs> gonna have to maybe cut into that a bit differently. Still very thin track pieces, so they're not very forgiving. I am probably gonna want to go really hard to the side on those to ensure that I um uh, don't get air going between dirt and tarmac. We'll see. Okay. No, don't do that. You don't want to get a, you don't want to get too far on the inside of those because you just kind of you get air and then your entire turn is ruined. Definitely gonna have to edit the replay of this one because the replay will be horrible. This is not a track for Cam One. Oh. It's very deceiving. And I don't think I make this speed check, actually. Yep, I don't make it. Interesting that a track of the day would have a check, but would, would have something that... like that. This is like... I would feel, for most people, this is a new experience, because they don't... Ex they don't... They've never used the, the roller coaster track pieces. They may not have played Track Mini at Turbo. So for the average new person, they'll see this and they'll have no idea. Now, at this point, this will be in, this will have been their second experience with it because they already did one. But it's interesting that they're going to include a, a speed check like that. Though I don't know, <laughs> I haven't looked at it. It may not actually be a speed check. There may be some way to do it with no speed, but feels like a speed check to me. Like that's a speed check. I mean, that's an optional speed check. Like you're gonna go faster if you have the speed, but you don't have to have the speed. Just make sure I make it with speed so I can make this jump. It's apparently very difficult. Uh, it's not that hard once you actually have speed. Oh, God. I just want to make the track. We're going to go into the roller coaster. So this is the same downward turn situation as before. Into the checkpoint. Around the turn. Okay, don't do that. 
Looks like the finish, but it looks like we're going to go up and then down into the finish. Oh. Wait a second. Couldn't you just, like, back into the finish? Oh, that's not the finish. This is that loop that we jumped through. It looks like the finish from the side. Oh, it is the finish. That's why I was like, it looks like the finish. It is the finish. You have to just go the whole way around. Okay. Now we... Probably don't have to let up there, but I'm worried. So I do. Jump through where the finish is. Do this turn such that I don't get mad air. Oh, I touched the outside. Yep, that turn's gonna be really difficult. I can see it now. You just PF. Woo! Alright. Alright. Go for better time. Sixth in PA. You have a massive mistake in the dirt section, so where all my time is going right now. Had a gear down, but that's fine because I'm already slowing down a lot here. Maybe not that much. Oh my god. See, I have to, I have to turn that turn. Because deceptively, that is a turn. Hard to tell, but it's a turn. Um... And then afterward, like, it, it's, it's a turn into, I have to stop turning, otherwise I go straight into the wall. So you go up, and then turn, 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 stop turning. I'm surprised it didn't hit the wall. Look at all the Ferris wheels. Why do you need two Ferris wheels that are the exact same size? I feel like one's enough. Unless it's the most popular attraction in this area. And I hit the wall, see? The first time I almost hit the wall, the second time I did hit the wall. Okay, we'll launch it. I have a lot of speed, which is gonna affect this, and I hit the wall. It's it's a really tight turn that I have barely enough speed to do already. Oh, came in with too much speed. Really the goal on that dirt turn is to make it the whole way around the outside. Because if I do that, I'll have the most speed I could coming out. Ooh, bad gear. Because that gear came a lot earlier than it normally does. Okay, I don't know why I come into the inside here, because I have to make an immediate right turn. I hit the wall, but I didn't slam into the inside and do mess messy stuff, so. Hook onto the magnet and just ride it all the way around. Four second improvement. Ooh, off the metal. See how the times are looking. World, I don't want world. I don't want the world ranking. I 
think I was like top a thousand or well, I was barely, I wasn't even top a thousand. Go on the outside here. I touched the wall again. You can get so much time off of if I just don't hit the wall, it seems. Okay, just land it. And I hit the wall. It's a really weird line I have to take. I hate. It's really difficult. I don't know. I'm saying I hate it out of me not liking to do it because it's hard and not because it's just not. It's just a pure hatred. I just. It's not fun to me to do these little dirt zigzags where you. Where you basically can't come into the turn riding the right. Uh, the, the side of the. the outside of the turn already. You're already. Like. You go into the dirt turn having to basically turn the opposite direction of the dirt turn. And there's two of them in this. The first one's a lot easier than the second one because uh, the first one is uphill and you have a lot of leeway. Whereas the second one is like, you're coming in at really high speeds and you don't want to lose those speeds. I did land poorly and I thought it didn't matter, but uh, seeing that dirt turn, it didn't matter. So we're just gonna ignore that and do one that actually lands. And hit the wall again, because I want to, I guess. Hitting the wall's a fun time, I guess. Tried to go. Oh, cam three didn't work. Uh, numpad? I guess I can't. Oh, cham okay, it worked that time. Oh, this forces cam two, that's why. I see. They force cam two and not cam one? I feel like out of all the cameras to force on something like that, you would force cam 3? Not cam 1, sorry. Cam 3? You'd probably want to force cam 3. I guess it's because they're not technically loops. Like in a loop, you're changing, you're going, like you're going so fast that Cam 2 doesn't even keep up, but Cam 3 is just, Cam 3 is literally just what you, like, the driver's seat and it can keep up. Whereas, yeah, Cam 1 and Cam 2 have a bit of smoothing, I guess, applied to the movement that they're, they, they make. Cam 3 does not. Okay, we go. And don't hit the wall. Cool. I want to get close to that wall so I can actually have enough room to make the turn, but obviously getting close to the wall means I have a higher chance of hitting the wall. I like how true, so this is Coaster World, and I love how true they stayed to the um, original Trackmania Turbo style of coaster track, but also made this stuff look more like a roller coaster. It's been a while since I've played Trackmania Turbo, but I don't remember the coaster track 
um, looking this much like a roller coaster, like a piece of a roller coaster. Maybe it did, and I'm just not remembering it correctly. But to me, it looks like it, to me this reminds me not this reminds me more of a roller coaster than the turbo pieces. It's only because of the underside, too. Obviously, because normally roller coasters don't have road on top of them. They have two steel beams that act as the place that the rollers can go on or whatever. And to be fair, it was a matter of time before these pieces were added into Trackmania uh, 2020, because in my opinion, they were the best part of Trackmania Turbo. got really close to the outside wall there. Let's not worry about it. And instead, let's worry about not hitting the wall here. I got air! Oh my god, I'm coming. I'm, I'm starting that turn too early. I think I can let up and start it later. And be fine. Oh, I got a bad gear? Maybe? <laughs> if I got a bad gear, it was not uh, very uh, detrimental to my overall time. Oh, I hit the wall. Yep. I don't want to cut. The reason I'm hitting the outside wall so much is because I don't want to cut just straight across the middle and just land on the opposite side and have to do what I did in my PB run. Because that will mean I have to start the turn earlier and probably result in the worst dirt turn. I think the reason I'm going on the outside is because I could benefit from being on the outside first and I can start the turn later, losing me less speed. Surprise at the inside there. This time I made sure to... Okay, I started that too late. I saw it coming. I knew by the time I let up the first time that I wasn't going to get out of that without letting up a ton. Cool. Got a bad gear, but it didn't seem to matter. I let up there, so that's going to cost me a little bit of speed. Very small amount, though. Those are some wide ramps. Just now pointing out their existence. They are wide. have a lot more speed here. Had to let up there as well. Don't have to break here. That's such a weird turn. I hate it. I hate those little kink, those little kink dirt turns. They're just the worst. And both of them in this scenario result in me having to have a horrible line into the turn afterwards. Pretty much consistently. I never really like my line around the the turns. Pretty much consistent. Like that was a good line. But I'm not the fondest of it. I could have uh, I could have gone on the outside for longer. And I think I slowed down too much at the beginning. Because I was trying to make sure I didn't slam into the outside wall. Oh, 
Why do I sometimes just not make that? I think it's because I'm just hugging the inside so much that the speed I would normally gain by doing anything else is negated by me just being too precise. I basically have to break there too, because I didn't break there, I just let up a lot and it still slammed into the outside wall. Three ten? Seems like three ten, three oh eight is the speed I need to make sure I actually land that smoothly. Yeah. Smoothly straight on. If I have any angle at all, I lose that ability. Breaked a lot, but I think it's fine because I'm still quite far ahead. The bam, yeah, five tenths, pretty good. All right, let's see if we can do any better than that. Uh, we're pretty far into the video, so uh, I don't know how easy it'll be, but we'll see. Oh, I have angle. Fine, I had extra speed. Okay. No, 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 no. Fine, because I end up saving it. Not worried here because I could still probably end up saving it by doing a better dirt turn. Yeah. Good. It's all, it's all in that dirt turn there. There we go. There's another two ish tenths in the pocket. And we're going to go for another. Maybe. It's all in those dirt turns. <laughs> like, the rest of this is reasonably easy. See? I did the dirt turn well. I had a lot of extra speed for it. I had to let up there, so I'm ahead, but I'm slower. geared. Still ahead though, which is good. That was really good. We're going to just get improvement on top of improvement on top of improvement. A bam. Seven tenths. a very productive end of the episode and we will we still got like five minutes it's insane i don't think it's gonna i don't think my improvement chain is gonna keep going though because like i said it's all in the dirt turns and this run has reasonable dirt turns because i think i kept that gear the whole way I have too much. I, well, I turned too early. But that was competitive. Would it have improved? I don't know, because my ending dirt turn is actually pretty good. Ow. 
I did have a worse landing there, but you could see I was catching up, which means because I had a better approach into that dirt turn. I still think it, well, if any improvement is possible, which it is, but if I will be able to do any improvement, it will be gained through these dirt turns. And, it, and it'll also be done in how well I can optimize staying as far on the outside of that first one as possible, and then the second one just succeeding with as much speed as possible. Ooh, touch the wall. And touch the wall again. Should actually do some controller stuff. Been peppering in random times where I try with controller. And this has dirt. I'd say dirt is the best time to try dirt or try a controller because dirt is inherently. I just think I clicked. Uh, play with opponents. All right, play alone. Let's do controller. Let's do some controller action. Well, I actually have to turn there. I'm gonna get those super smooth. Okay, let's not worry about that. Let's just continue. Oh, <laughs> you can't make that. Bad gear, or at least I had a gear. Oh, no. Let's try to do that again. I wouldn't have made it anyways. I tried to smooth myself out there to get to make sure I landed on the outside. Alrighty, though. I think we got a good time on our hands. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Or we will tackle whatever track happens to be the track of the day for that day. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you all after this run. I crashed before I finished, so... I crashed before I finished the uh, spiel, so I thought, I'm just going to finish this run out. Finish it out at this point. That was a pretty good dirt turn. Don't know how well it would have went with more speed. Alrighty, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Later!